Donald Trump has said that a summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un broke down over the issue of sanctions after the talks in Vietnam ended early with no deal. It was about the sanctions basically, Trump said at a press conference in Hanoi. They wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. Sometimes you have to walk, and this was just one of those times. The U.S. president said that Kim had offered to dismantle some parts of his nuclear infrastructure, including the Yongbyon nuclear complex, but was not prepared to destroy other parts of the program, including covert uranium plants. There is a gap. We have to have sanctions, Trump said. They were willing to danuke a large portion of the areas we wanted, but we couldn't give up all the sanctions for that. Trump said there was no plan for a third summit but made clear that the current status quo would continue, with North Korea continuing to suspend nuclear and missile tests, while the U.S. would not take part in joint military exercises with South Korea, which the U.S. president said he was opposed to anyway. I gave that up quite a while ago because it costs us $100 million to do it. I hated to see it. I thought it was unfair, Trump said, saying South Korea should shoulder more of the costs. Exercising is fun, and it's nice they play their war games. I'm not saying it's not necessary. On some levels it is. On other levels it's not. Although he said another summit with Kim might not happen for a long time, Trump remained defensive of the North Korean leader and the relationship between the two men. We spent all day with Kim Jong-un, Trump said. He's quite a guy and quite a character. And our relationship is very strong. He even defended Kim over the death of U.S. student Otto Warmier, who had been sent back home from North Korea seriously ill in June 2017. He says he didn't know about it, and I will take him at his word, Trump said, adding that North Korea was a big country and those prisons are rough. Their rough places and bad things happen. Trump gave a detailed public account to date of the central disagreements that have dogged the negotiations. He confirmed that the U.S. side had confronted the North Koreans with the existence of covert nuclear facilities outside Yongbyon and demanded they be put on the negotiating table. They were surprised we knew, he said. The U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, said that the breakdown of talks was partly caused by differences over the sequences of nuclear disarmament and sanctions relief. The press conference came after a scheduled lunch and signing ceremony for the expected joint statement were both canceled at short notice as Trump and Kim left the summit venue and returned to their separate Hanoi hotels. The two leaders discussed various ways to advance denuclearization and economic-driven concepts, Sarah Sanders, the White House spokeswoman, said in a written statement. No agreement was reached at this time, but their respective teams look forward to meeting in the future. A Trump media conference was brought forward two hours, and journalists accompanying the U.S. president were told to get ready to board Air Force One for the flight back to Washington.